This lesson is about predicting weather. Weather can change daily, but predictions about these changes can be made based on measurable factors like temperature and wind direction. Meteorologists are able to predict weather based on recorded measurements. Weather predictions based on these measurements are called forecasts. Weather is a condition of the atmosphere that includes temperature, precipitation, wind speed, and cloud coverage. Forecasts can be displayed on weather maps containing special weather symbols. The main components of forecasts include all of the components of weather, but also include information about fronts and wind direction. Weather maps are used to summarize weather conditions. Meteorologists around the world use similar symbols to represent the same things, which allows them to communicate with one another more clearly. This also creates a consistent system that allows anyone looking at a weather map to understand what is shown. Weather is determined by large bodies of air called air masses. Air masses can cover large areas of land, and most weather occurs at their edges, or fronts. There are three basic types of fronts used in weather forecasts. A cold front is the leading edge of a cold air mass that is pushing against the warm air mass. It typically brings gusty winds, drops in temperature, and heavy rains. A warm front occurs when the leading edge of a warm air mass is pushing in to replace a cold air mass. It typically brings gentle rains, warm temperature, and milder weather. A stationary front is the boundary between two air masses where no air is moving. It typically brings cloudy and wet weather, and it usually lasts for several days. This blue symbol is used to represent a cold front. This red symbol represents a warm front, and the blue and red symbol represents a stationary front. Variations in pressure caused by whirling masses of air also contribute to weather. A high-pressure system, represented by an H, is a whirling mass of cool, dry air. It's usually associated with clear skies and weather. Winds spiral clockwise out from the center of a high-pressure system. A low-pressure system is made of a whirling mass of warm, moist air and is represented by an L. It's typically associated with overcast and wet weather. The winds spiral counterclockwise toward the center of a low-pressure system. Symbols that represent specific types of weather are also used on weather maps. This symbol is used to represent rain, which is precipitation that falls as water. This is the symbol for thunderstorms, which are storms with lightning and thunder. Ice storms are represented by this symbol. They are caused by freezing rain. Ice storms occur when a warm layer of air is trapped between two cold layers of air. Freezing rain falls and then melts, and then freezes again when it hits the second cold layer. This represents flurries which is a light snowfall that does not stick to the ground and usually can't be measured. For heavier snow that can be measured and sticks, this symbol is used. Snow is precipitation that falls as ice crystals. Snow is made by water vapor that freezes that does not first become water. So by studying fronts and pressure systems, meteorologists can create general predictions about weather. These forecasts can be represented on weather maps using symbols like the one shown here.